Galatians 6 and 9. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Rakatei hawa, rakatei hawa shai, rakatei hawa, rakatei hawa shai. Ka halal yahawa, ba'ashimi hawa shai, ba'ashimu ka'kwadash. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of his beloved Son who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. That's their true names in Allah Shawan Kodash, the ancient Hebrew. Okay, the only names that we're to call upon, okay, uh, for, for salvation. Double honor to the apostles and elders, great millstone, the true men of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect, okay, to whom we do these lessons for. All right, I'm back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, and the title of this lesson will be, Don't Fall From Your Hope in the Lord. Okay, don't fall from your hope in the Lord, man. We got to keep the faith, you know. You know, we're at the end of this thing, okay. We can't get distracted, you know. We can't, you know, um, you know, lose sight of what's important, man, which is salvation. All right, it's the fourth quarter. So it's time to lock in and, and um, you know, keep our eyes single. Okay, we're too invested to go back. All right, and, and, and like the scriptures say, it's nearer than we believe, man. Okay, so we have to continue to honor the vow that we made unto our power, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, and, and ride this thing out to the end, man. We can't can't give up, man. All right, this is uh, Romans thirteen and eleven. It says, "And that knowing that it's a lot, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when." We believe, man. Okay, so we know that it's close, but it's closer than we think, man. So we have to remain faithful to our power, continue to fight, continue fighting, you know, and, uh, you know, continue to uh, believe, man. All right, because like the scriptures tell you, Satan as a wrong lion seeketh whom he may devour, man. Okay, Satan is out here, man. Okay, trying to distract our minds, you know, trying to uh, place obstacles in our path. To have us give up on the Lord, man. Okay, like like the Lord told uh, Peter, you know, Satan desire to sift you, man. Okay, but we know if we be of that elect, man, we cannot be separate. Nothing will separate us from the love of Yahweh Bashmah Rishad, man. Nothing. Okay, so let's continue to, you know, keep that 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 lively hope, man. All right, keep that fire burning within us, man. Okay, making sure that we're pleasing. How about Shemal Shai, man? All right. So I wanted to go here. This is a uh, second address. I mean, Sirach 14 and 2. It says, Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord. Right. Blessed is he whose conscience has not condemned him. Okay. And your conscience will begin to condemn you, you know, once you veer off the path, man. Once you stop doing what you're supposed to do in the spirit, man. Okay. That's when you're. Your conscience will begin to condemn you, man. All right, that's making room for Satan, you know, to plague your mind, man. But if you stay on top of yourself, examine yourself, like the scriptures say, doing what you're supposed to do, okay? You go, you you gonna you gonna feel good in the spirit, man. Okay, so it says, "Blessed is he whose conscience have not for, con, have not condemned him, and who has not fallen from his hope in the Lord, man." Okay, and it's a it's a it's a it's a fight. It's a fight right there, man. The scriptures speak of the condition of the battle. Okay? So, you're constantly warring within yourself. You know, the, the spirit warring with the flesh. Okay? Warring with, with all the elements of this world. You know, all the temptations and distractions out here, man. Okay? And, of course, you know, we got that that uh, that invisible invisible fight, you know, that, uh, you know, with Satan, man. And, 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 and demons, you know? The scriptures say... You know, uh, the, the war of uh, 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 warfare is not carnal. You know, paraphrasing. You know, it's not. It's not a carnal fight. It's a spiritual fight, man. Okay, so we're to hold fast to the profession of our faith, man, and not waver, like the scriptures tell you in Hebrews ten, for He is faithful that promised. Okay, because all we have really is the hope. Hey, how about from outside, man? That's it, man. Okay, that's all we have, man. Scriptures say, uh, hope. Where? There's uh, Psalm 135. It says, I wait for the Lord. 
my soul doth wait and in his word do I hope okay and we can't we can't uh you know lose that hope man you know in Yahweh Yahweh's word man in these prophecies man because we know that they're going to come to pass man the scriptures say though they tarry wait for it man the scriptures say he that cometh will come and he will not tarry man okay so we can't lose hope in Yahweh Yahweh's side we can't lose hope in his word man because everything that the Lord spoke is going to come to pass in due season man okay so we have to keep that faith man all right so we don't want to lose we don't want to fall from our hope in the Lord man at the end you know here it is we're at the very end man you know and what, what we look like uh, 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 falling off now you know that's why we prayed to, we beg y'all by smile side not to take his Holy Spirit away from us man you know because the scriptures speak of uh let me let me uh let me go there because if you fall off then all the time that you invested into the truth it's not going to be accounted for, man. All right? Here you go, right here. This is uh, Ezekiel 18 and 24. But when the righteous turn of, turn of away from his righteousness, okay, turn away from his truth, and committed for iniquity, going back to the world, living in sin, and doeth according to all the abominations that the wicked man doeth, shall he live? All his righteousness that he have done shall not be mentioned, you see? In his trespass that he have trespassed, and in his sin that he have sinned, and them shall he die. Okay, so all his righteousness that he have done should not be mentioned. So why wait? Why, you know, who wants to waste their time, man? You know, who wants to waste their time? You know, we're too invested to give up, man. You know, too invested, man. So let's finish this thing, all right? Let's write this thing out to the very end. All right? It's uh, Hebrews 3 and uh, 12. It says, take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief. Okay? That's an that's an evil heart, man. You know, to 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 to, to uh, walk away from Yahweh Yahweh Shai. The scriptures say the beginning of pride is when one separated from the most high, man. Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. You know? So we don't want that evil heart of unbelief, man. Alright? Take heed, brethren, lest there be in any of you. An evil heart of unbelief and departing from the living power, man. So we want to do everything in our power to, to stay near to Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man. Making sure we're reading, making sure we're close to the waters, making sure we're, you know, tuning into the apostles and, and brothers around the earth, making sure we're doing our lessons, making sure we're hitting the highways and byways. You know, let nothing get in the way of us hitting the highways, man. Okay? It says, but exhort one another daily while it is called today. All right, and we're exhorting each other with the word, man. You know, with these lessons. Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. You know, being uh, lured back into the world, man. Fuck that. You know, straight up. Fuck that, man. You know, we made it. We made, you know, really, it's not us making the decision, but hey. We made a vow to Yahweh Yahweh Shai to serve, to serve him, okay, to the very, very end. And that's that's what it that's that's what it is, man. You know, unto the death, man. It says, for we are made partakers of Yahweh Shai, okay, joint heirs, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. So we just like we believed in the word when we first heard it, you know. <clears throat> We have to keep 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 that that fire burning all the way to the end, man. Keep that hope alive, man, within you. Okay, because everything is against us on this side, man. So we can't fall from our hope and how we have a shot, man. The Lord is gonna come through. He's gonna he's gonna uh, make good on His word, man. You know, all the bad came to pass, right? <laughs> right. Look at your life. All the bad came to pass. So the good has to come to pass, man. All right. And I want to end it off right here. With Acts 14 and 22. 
okay? It says, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, man. That's what it's all about, man. All right, persevering, no matter what. Continue in the faith, continue in the faith, man. All right, keeping that fight up, man. Okay, not letting your guard down, man. Not surrendering to Satan, man. Okay? Confirming the souls and the slot. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Bashmah Shah, man. You know, that's that, that narrow uh, path, man. Okay, the straight gate. Okay, that's the only way to uh you know get to that broad man is to go to the to the narrow man through the narrow man okay which is taking the proper steps okay going through your house side man not trying to find another way okay being patient being disciplined okay uh, uh having that integrity all right keeping that faith man all right so lord's words edifying don't fall from your hope in the how about Shemuel was shot, man? Because the Lord's gonna make good on all on everything He said He will do, man. Okay, did not the Lord say we're gonna return unto Him in the last days? Hey, here we are, man. Serving our power in captivity, man. Okay, so before we know it, all hell is gonna break loose in this place. Okay, and, and, and ultimately, Yahweh Shah is gonna come. Okay, and save the day. All right, because He is our hero, man. All right, He will rescue us if we be of that elect. Okay, so those words edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shemiah Bashai, by Shemukha Kodash. Till next time, Shalom.